All right, guys, we've got some new Deadpool and Wolverine news to talk about because it looks like our uh, secondary villain has been revealed. We know the main villain is going to be Cassandra Nova, who is Professor X's sister, but the secondary villain is actually going to be the TVA. So this comes to us from Holyfield News on Twitter, and this is what he said. So the TVA in Deadpool 3 is secretly the second villain in the film. They will use and manipulate Deadpool until he starts to understand what's really going on in Deadpool and Wolverine. So that first part there, that's what Holyfield reported, and yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I do not think the TVA is just this uh, sunshine and rainbows organization that's going to basically tell Deadpool he's the most important person in the universe, and that he can clean everything up, and he's Marvel Jesus and all that. There's definitely going to be a sinister twist in this movie where the TVA is actually bad, and uh, here's what I wrote. This part right here, this is my theory. So I wrote, in the first trailer, we see Wade fight TVA Minutemen, and this is after he finds out their true intentions. I believe they want to erase the Fox timelines, which would kill Vanessa and Wade's friends. This is when he will take them down alongside Wolverine. So yeah, like I just said, in the trailer we do see Deadpool fighting a bunch of TVA Minutemen, and these are actually different than the ones we've seen in the Loki TV series. These look like a more militarized division of the TVA, and my theory around that is that this might be a separate faction from the TVA we see in Loki, and this might be like a more hardcore militarized uh, group. And I think they want to go back to the old ways where Kang ran everything and they were pruning timelines and erasing things that weren't supposed to happen. I don't think Agent Paradox is telling the whole truth to Deadpool. I think he knows how important Deadpool is to the MCU and how he can break the fourth wall and how he's like this superior being that can see what's happening in the multiverse. And that's probably why he needs Deadpool in order to uh, get that control back over the multiverse. So I think he's going to tell Wade one thing, but what Wade is actually doing on his mission is going to be something entirely different that could result in the death of all of his friends and especially Vanessa. There was a big rumor that the reason why he's retired as Deadpool at the beginning of the movie is just to save his friends and family. And there was a rumor that that's the reason why he broke up with Vanessa, because he wanted to protect her, because the last time uh, she ended up dying just due to his relationship with her. So if he finds out that the TVA and Agent Paradox have been lying to him and uh, basically they want to kill all of his friends, I think he's going to go crazy with Wolverine and that's why we start to see them fight uh, the TVA Minutemen in the forest scene in the first trailer. And obviously there's still going to be good TVA agents like we saw in Loki Season 2. These are just going to be uh, a group that's not good. Which I think is pretty cool, like not having all of the TVA agents agree with having Loki in charge as the god of stories. I really like that, there's going to be conflict within the TVA. Some of them want Kang back and they want proper order and some of them want free will like Loki. But yeah guys, let me know down below in the comments what you think about this. Are you excited to have the TVA be a secondary villain in Deadpool and Wolverine? Because I know I am. Let me know your thoughts down below.